I am Lindsay Otten, and I was the Kent Fellow in Political Marketing this February and March in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Um, the company I worked for was called Smart Vote Services. Um, it's a full service com uh, political marketing and communications campaign. So anytime you get a mailer or an email from a political candidate, that's the kind of thing Smart Vote does. Um, they provide services like voter data management, um, micro-targeting and constituent survey to find out what people are thinking about your candidate, um, and cohesive voter communications through email, print, and phone campaigns. SmartVote has its own print center and its own phone center, so they can really kind of do everything at once for a candidate. Um, I had two specific projects that I worked on while I was there, um, and most of the work that I did was sort of involved in these um, themes in one way or another. First one was revitalizing SmartVote's online presence. SmartVote has had a website for a really long time, but it was a little out of date. It didn't include all of the services SmartVote saw, SmartVote offers. So we worked on that. Um, this is actually the new logo for the website. Um, it was designed by the marketing department. Um, second thing was increasing social media communications. I opened a SmartVote Twitter account, um, a LinkedIn, and I worked a little bit on the Facebook page. Um, then the second part of my project was helping expand SmartVote's um, client base to include nonprofit organizations. Um, they sort of have a similar goal a lot of times of political candidates is raising awareness um, and getting donations for issues, so we thought they'd be a really good fit. Um, and I did this by identifying and researching potential organizations that might be a good fit for SmartVote, um, attending client meetings, and creating proposals for interested organizations. Um, there were three organizations that I worked with um, the most. The first was the Iowa Tax Association. I did a lot of research on them, but my fellowship ended before I got to meet with them. Um, the second was the Iowa State School Board. Um, I got to meet with the president of that organization with my supervisor, and I got to help develop a proposal for strategic planning. Um, and the third one was One Iowa, Mar Iowa's marriage equality uh, organization. And that one was really cool because I got to do it start to finish. I got to do a little bit of research on them. I got to meet with them. I got to help craft the proposal. And I even got to like stuff envelopes for mailing campaign that they uh, <laughs> did, which is a, kind of an intern thing, but it was really cool because I got to do it full circle. Um, what did I learn? I learned how important networking is. Every single meeting we got was due to my supervisor, Marsha's connections, um, whether they were mostly online through LinkedIn or um, in-person connections. And the second one was just how important liberal arts is in the workplace. Um, you know, the skills I was using, research, um, writing, and even like being able to speak up in meetings are things that I've really worked on in my liberal arts classes. Um, my, the professional and future impact of my fellowship on my life. Um, I gained firsthand experience in a professional office environment. I got to help define my career goals. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do before I started my fellowship, and now I really want to continue in this sort of communications and marketing for nonprofits and political campaigns. Um, and the third thing was I secured post-grad post employment in Washington, D.C. Um, I, <laughs> um, I have a paid internship with an organization called GMMB. Um, they do really similar stuff to SmartVote, but on a larger scale. They worked on Obama's 2008 campaign, um, and they work with organizations like the United Nations Foundation. Um, and I would just like to extend thanks to um, the namesake for my fellowship, Raymond Kent, who was a trustee, a trustee for Cornell in the early 1900s, uh, my wonderful site supervisor, Marsha Rogers, who's here tonight, and my faculty sponsor, Rob Sutherland. Thank you, guys. <laughs>